Hey there, everybody. What is up? This is Reese, or Brush Yet Cub, and welcome back to our Tech It Let's Play adventure. I am feeling mucho better, and as we can see, we've got the the sorter testing machine thingy expanded here, and uh, this is what we built in the last episode. As you know, it will sort items into this chest here, which I already emptied out, so no need to worry about that. What we're going to do today, though, is we're going to actually make some paintbrushes, and we're going to section off different sort areas for things to be sorted to, if that makes any sense at all. So let's get started by making a paintbrush. So how do we make a paintbrush? Let's, uh, let's see. Brush. There we go. So the normal paintbrush is just some wool of any color and a stick, and my voice is crackling a bit, but let's not worry about that. Oops, let's not go upstairs. So let's see, wool would be downstairs, I believe, in the n organic items chest. Yep, got our wool, and then we'll need sticks, wasn't it? I can't believe I already forgot. Obviously, we'll need some sticks, which we can get in here. And so let's see, how many of these do we want? Let's go ahead and make five of them, just for the test purposes. They are stackable for now. Now we're going to paint them. And uh, let's see, what colors do we want to go with? And we're probably going to go with... Let's go with green... For that, we're going to need some lime paint, which is going to be two flaxseed and lime dye. Now, paint cans are made using tin plates, which are tin and iron. So let's do that first and make sure we have enough tin cans to uh, to actually make the paints. Let me get back in here, though. And how many of that make? Just one can. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tin plate for one can. Okay, so let's just go ahead and make quite a bit of this stuff. Tin and iron, and we're going to need more iron actually so I'll have to go do that let's go ahead and see how many of these we can make let's see iron tin and someone informed me that it doesn't matter what order you put these in and apparently they're all right so I guess I could just put them in there any which way so we got four though or eight of those which is enough to make one tent can or tin can I should say not a tent can we're not storing tents in these there go one and how many more do we need? I'm going to go ahead and say that we'll probably need... Well, we've made five brushes, so we're going to need five cans. Which means we definitely need to go make some more iron. But let's make a couple of cans here real fast. Okay, let's go ahead and just make a paintbrush so we'll know how to do that. And then I'll go and I'll make more iron and we'll finish making more tit cans. Let's see. Red paint looks like it'll be the same as everything else. So red rose dye, which is just made using roses. Let's go do that. And since we probably have roses downstairs in the organic items chest, it'll be a bit easier to make red dye. Let's see. Yep. There we go. So, two red dye. And then we'll use that with flaxseed, which I think we have lots of. It was flaxseed, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Alright, I'm going to take off my jacket real fast. I just came in from outside and it's a bit cold. Don't know why I left it on, though. Should have thought about that. Let's see. Crafting. One of these. A couple of these. And one of these will give us red paint. There we go. So that and then a paintbrush will give us a red paintbrush. There we go. Oh, and we get to keep the red paint. So that's good. That's fantastic, actually. So let's see. In order to paint one of these, looks like we can... Uh, it does have a pro progress bar on it, though. So I guess it will do to go down. Let's make this from the red chest. There we go. Now, how did I make a yellow one? Dandelions. Okay, great. Let's go get some dandelions. We'll make a yellow brush. Dandelion. There we go. Fly. Fly higher. Whee. Okay. Boom. Boom. And boom. Yellow. Yellow brush. Got some more yellow paint there, so boom. Now we need to make two more, but uh, we won't worry about that right now. Let's actually just go ahead and test the machine. So if we open up the sorter, we can go ahead and put, let's say, wool over here. And we'll have that sent to red, if I can find red. Where is it? There it is, okay. And then we'll have sticks sorted over to here, and we'll make that yellow. And then we'll, anything else that we put in the chest, We'll get sorted. How many of those did I put? I don't have to put five. You just put one. Uh, anything else that I put in the chest should just get sent down to the end chest. So let's just fill everything that we've got in here. 
Let's turn it on. Let's see if this works. Alright, so yellow items are indeed being sent to the yellow chest. Look at that. That is good. Alright. How many sticks did I put in there? I think I, I had a whole stack. So let's wait till those get sent out. Alright, counting down. And pretty soon things should be coming out and going into the red chest. If we did this correctly. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. And you'll notice that it's kind of got a, a yellow square around it. That indicates which one it's going to. So that's pretty cool so you can kind of tell where an item is going. Okay, red. Red is working. Red is going into the red chest. Alright, let's just take out the wool. And see what happens to other items. Yes, they get... They just get put into random areas. Okay, I see. So, what happens is it'll start pulling items from the chest. And since they're not designated to go to a specific area, it'll just dump them into whatever chest is closest. Now, we're going to change that by, if we not look, not in the chest, but inside the box. We have an option to set a color down here. So, we'll probably go ahead and make another brush. And we'll make it all the way down there at the end. And we'll designate the this to, let's just say, white. So, it'll take anything that isn't sorted and dump it into a, a chest at the end, which will color white. And in order to do that, though, we have to make some more... More paintbrushes, in order for that we're going to need some more iron. So I'm going to go get to work on that, and I will see you guys when we get back. Alrighty guys, so we got two more paint cans, and we're now we just need to make two more colored paints. So what are we going to go with? I know I want to make a white one, and that is just bone meal and flaxseed. So we got that down here. Bone meal and flaxseed. Are we all out of flaxseed? Uh-oh. Was I not paying close enough attention to it at the time? I bet I didn't use it all. Let's see. Oh, you know what? No, we sorted it upstairs, so we'll go get some more of that. Next, we want to make a... Hmm. Let's just go with a plain black one, which is going to need ink. So do we have an ink sack? Do we have... Yes, we do. All right, great. So those would be the next two colors for our test sorter. Flaxseed, if it is capable of being... Yes, it does have an EMC value. Definitely need to go make some more of that in that case in the um, condenser. First things first, let's see what we're going to do here. Paint cans, ink, oh, look, it doesn't matter what order they go in here either. So I guess you can just put them in any old which way, and you'll get the paints that you so desire. Now we need a paintbrush. Two paintbrushes, actually. Actually. And I did make five, because I guess I thought we'd need five, but we apparently don't. So we've got a white one, and we've got a black one. And I wonder if they can be repainted, if you can recolor them. Apparently not. Maybe you have to clean them or something. Uh, I'll look into that later. Let's go ahead and paint these white and black. So there we go. We have a red one, a yellow one, a black one, and a white one. And what we're going to do is get everything out of this chest. Every single thing. Okay. This is our dump chest. And let's see. We're going to want... So any old item that we put in there is going to go through white at the end. Then anything that's made out of wool or... You know, we'll just say anything that's organic... We'll go through the red chest. So then anything that we make will go through the yellow chest. So we do make paint. Our dyes. We make paint cans. I wonder if just one paint can will pick all of these other ones. Or if one dye is going to take all of the red dyes. We'll have to figure that out. And then we got one more. It's black. So we'll go ahead and set it up as... Where is it? There we go. Um, things like that. And like that. And like that. All right, so let's see if this works. We'll dump everything in here. There we go. Power this thing up. And all right, so it should start taking... All right, now it is going to take things one item at a time. I didn't think about that. I wonder if there's another setting for this. Mmm, doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, so that's working. It's taking all that in there. Let's take it all out real fast so it's we don't have to sit there and wait for the whole shebang. Okay, so now it's moving on to flaxseed, which is red. Good. Okay. So next it'll move on to doing the... Okay, black ores. That's great. What goes next? Bars. Okay, so that's working. Wool is working. Now this is going to be the one that will be interesting to see what it does stuff with. So paint cans, all that stuff did not get sorted into the machine, so it should be going into the white. Down there at the end. Yes, it worked. So great. Look at that. Everything got sorted in here, so that's great. Seems to be working. Seems to be working just fine. All right, so I think now we're ready to build a larger one. A, a large, large scale one. 
down in the, the laboratory. Let's shut this one off for now. And it'll sort everything. And what we're going to have to do is, I already have this in my head, we're going to do a set it up to sort one group of items in, through one machine. And then it'll drop items, go all the way to the end of the pipe, and just random things, drop them into a second sorter, where it'll sort out an additional number of items, and then so on and so forth. And so we have chests full of stuff. So let's see. Let's fly over here and take a look at where we want to build this thing in the next episode. Let's just see what we're going to do. So I was thinking, since this is where we... Oh. thought I saw someone in there. Since this is where we work, I think we probably want to have the items pretty close. So I'm thinking a level below, and then kind of push out these two walls here to make room for the, the workings of the machine. And then just on the outside have chests lined up so you don't actually see any of the sorting taking place behind the walls. You just, there's chests there and you can get in to them and browse their contents. I think that'll be a good idea. So I will get to work on that in the next episode. You guys will be there for every step of the journey. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And let's check our red matter. I haven't done that in a while. Pumping away as usual. Fantastic. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.